I thought a video would work a little bit better to show you my chair. Uh, this is the um, True Balance 2 seating. Um, you're probably going to get a True Balance 3 system if you get the Quantum, which I would definitely recommend. It's a pretty nice seating system. It's really solid too, but I wanted to show you the bag that I use and how I mount it to my chair. What I did was uh, I took the uh, I took the poles here and I inverted the push guards and I put it so I could just connect my bag. Let me scoot over here. I have a locking carabiner. It's got a, a little button here that you push. Push the button, turn it. It won't turn unless you push the button. So if somebody just comes up to your bag and starts fiddling with it, unless they push the button and then twist and then bring it in, it won't come off. It's just a little, it's, it's two little uh, like hooks, a click, and I think it's, I want to say it's about 60 liters. And uh, we've got uh, some personal stuff. I went to the Goodwill, thought about you. Got something really good I think you'll be interested in, and I'll add that on to the video. So, to continue, what I normally do is when you fold these bags up, Three times, one, two, three, they become waterproof. I actually go four, five, okay, well I hope you saw that. Uh, the other thing I did was I mounted in the rail an extra seatbelt. And that seatbelt just kind of wraps around and keeps the bag completely tight. It gives me the opportunity to move the bag around. I have the bag elevated so it just misses anything. I've got a nice little hole there from it rubbing on the uh, back casters. So I flip it instead of three times, five times and that kind of works really, really well. Um, I will put this back together here. So it just clicks, cinch it up, bag doesn't go anywhere, it's nice and secure up here, it's somewhat theft proof in a sense, and then I wanted to show you the back headrest. This is from uh, Stealth Products, and it's got a little, let me swing the chair around here. Do this where I can get some light. Uh, it's my self products. It's it's got a T a T nut here that'll make it lower. Um, what I like to do is um, if I if I want to move it back, you just it's locked. But when you lift up. It releases. I could probably do this with the other hand and show you how it releases. If it drops down, now my bag gets in the way, but I don't mind because that's kind of far back enough where it's not in my way. If I don't need it to be in my way, it doesn't really wrap around too too much. And if I didn't want to use it, I could actually have it slide almost 
maybe a few more degrees, perhaps. Um, but it's um, it's it's really nice. I like the functionality of it. Um, I don't. I think this is. I'm not sure if this is the model that you're going to get. This is the true. This is the True Balance Two version of the armrest. Um, sometimes we'll have the armrest that angled downward and flat. That actually, these ones angle downward, but I reversed them and then put the pads on the other side. So this normally comes with a, uh, a rail and then it has two rails on each side for underneath, just like uh, your other Permobile. Um, but since I don't use underneath, I just got some bolts. Um, that were a little bit longer and put the uh, arm pad on the top of the bottom of it because I wanted my arms to be a higher elevation and you don't get much threading for the adjustments so it's real crucial that you kind of get the, the, the level that you need um, when they're writing you up uh, initially this is the um, the back unit. One thing I really like is the thickness of the steel. The backing unit is even thicker. And if anybody shoots at you, you might survive. <laughs> so that's my little side saddle that I keep a brush in, keep an umbrella. Um, I've got my keys handy because I came from the garage right now. Uh, but just for the purposes of, you know, getting around easy and having a place to put stuff, these things are great. They sort of act like fenders in a sense. I used to have two of them together. I showed you the one picture of two together. Um, this is the uh, Stealth Products. This is the unit, the same unit for the headrest and got the little t-nut and it's got holes so it could be probably run through the permobile side seating that has the double rails um i'm thinking that's probably uh the distance it, it looks like it is when i matched it up when i was test driving an f5 um my handrails my hand transfers I actually, when I want to drop my joystick down to either move it out of the way, now with the headrest, it rolls backwards. This one I wanted to tilt toward the back of the chair, but unfortunately it tilts to the side of the chair. Uh, but it does allow to um, get out of the way. If you want to transfer out, you can always take the hand transfer off. Lift up the arm. And then unscrew. That'll drop down. And you can lift this up. and tilt the whole chair. You could actually sort of swing out of the way like that. One of the things that I have an issue with is the pole hits the tires because I have to have it back far enough to stay away from my hand transfer. One thing I like, I, I have my hand transfers, I call them, they're set, I have to lift this up here. Alright. Uh, my hand transfers are really close to the joystick. I, I when, when I had the pole further, where it was clearing the wheel, but it wasn't it wasn't clearing the uh, attach uh, the hook part. Um, so this is kind of in the way for that. Um, 
I love the True Balance 2 seating system. You're probably going to get a True Balance 3. Um, this is the little container I told you about from Ikea for 10 bucks. Um, I just, I took the bracket. Let's see here. Doing this one hand is a little bit difficult, but the canister comes out. It's been dented. It's it's got some battle wounds, but push it down, give it some weight, put it back into a circle. The weld is not all that great on this thing, and mine busted off, so I ended up just drilling and putting uh, uh, a couple of, uh, I put a screw in, a couple of zip ties, so that it, it tightens it up so it doesn't rattle. Works perfect. Um, it's a little loose right now, but, you know, it, it, it pivots, which is nice. I take some of that rubber stuff that you put in the shelving, the shelving padding stuff, and then it rests when you want it out of the way you can move it out of the way when you want it with you you just whoosh, you can move it out of the way what i like is i go from cheetah mode in my uh my sleekness of um, hand transfers to switching them around easily and then being able to use those as horns <laughs> like a bull to uh, give me a little bit more personal space when I'm in my chair and also when I'm transferring out of it that I can uh, either take them off or move them and it works really good. I use these little lifters that are for the back. Nice place to store the wallet. Um, the other side of my chair, I don't have those little sealable containers anymore. So um, they they broke. Some drunk chick <laughs> in Vegas in a nightclub uh, fell on me a couple of times, and uh, and they just eventually just kind of all cracked, and that was the end of that. Um, I don't have a whole lot of light going on here left, but um, the only electrical hack, I wouldn't even say it's a hack, but it is, I did get a little, um, a USB adapter that plugs into the harness of uh, Quantum itself, and which is really, really nice. I had one extra slot, so they didn't have to add uh, another, another uh, harness um for more ports but um if you can see the uh seating system let's see the motor is down below versus on the side with the permobiles i really like this design um I know my videos are, I'm really close, but I don't have a selfie stick, unfortunately, or I would be using that. Um, I did want to show you underneath. Let me see. I don't think I can add flash while doing this. I don't know if you can see it, but there's the transfer, my USB cable just kind of wraps around and is uh, out of the way. Um, those are like zip tie areas that went in the front of this one on the side. But I had to make some changes and uh, this seems to work for the time being. Put a little hole in the back here. It's too big for what I wanted, but we were trying to do something with another pole that this was blocking, and 
anyway a little little USB-C cable and it charges one watt I'm gonna definitely talk to you more um, about your new setup with USB I think I want to do uh, two amp so basically this is um, this is my quantum it's been a nice chair for like 4,000 miles um, I put these straps on normally what I do is when I uh, when I am being tied down instead of hooking into here which gouges um, areas of my of my uh, chair I uh, kind of move I, I use the straps and like I'll have a, a, the, the back tie straps to the front and the front strap the front seatbelt strap hooks up to the back and kind of um, kind of hugs my chair I guess you could say uh, when it's tied down now it doesn't look like you know you jump on transportation too too much but you know I'm very uh, avid about uh, I'm very avid about making sure my chair is tied down properly so currently We're looking a little over 2,000 miles the last two years, and um, me and my quantum went to the Goodwill, found a kick-ass little surround system I'm going to whip out and put on video and show you. Oh, hot tub, don't fall on that. Anyway, stopping this video for now, bye.